Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to upgrade an HP EliteBook 8460P. Now these were business orientated machines that came out about 5-6 years ago um, and as such they're quite well specced and they're still reasonable even in 2018 for light office work, for general web browsing and things like that. Uh, probably not as your main machine these days but even some light gaming, I ran Portal 2 on one of these the other day and it ran at 35 frames per second. Um, let's just go through the machine quickly. Um, as a business machine, it, it had quite a lot of uh, I.O. on it. You've got a, a DVD writer by default. You've got super speed USB 3, SD card slot, Firewire. On the, uh, on the other side, you've got um, your main exhaust for your, your processor. You've got a display port, USB 2, eSATA, uh, headphone and microphone slots. On the back, you've got uh, gigabit Ethernet, I believe, and it might be 10.100, I'll double check. Uh, and a, a VGA slot, and on the bottom you've got a, a replicator port because you, this being a business machine, you would take it into the office, put it onto a port replicator, use it with a monitor, keyboard, and mouse all day, and at the end of the day, push the release button, take it home, and carry on working as if you'd been uh, using it in the office. Um, so great machines. The only problem is now, being a few years old, the, the specs are kind of lackluster. Uh, these only shipped with four gig of RAM. Uh, they did come with second generation Core i processors. This one's a Core i5. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to open these up, change out some of the parts in time to make them a bit more usable and then uh, I'll go through a couple of the pitfalls of this machine and things you need to be aware of if you are looking for them. Thanks. Okay guys, so it's actually really easy to upgrade these. All you need is a small Phillips screwdriver. Uh, the first thing you need to do is just turn the device over, spin it around. So I've got the battery facing me. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is make sure it's not connected to the mains and then go ahead and pull this switch over. And that releases the battery and that's just going to make sure we're not going to hurt ourselves while we're doing anything. So uh, on the other side of the replicator port here you see there's another little switch here, we'll move that across and hopefully you can see there's a small grub screw there with a red head on it and what we're going to do is just undo that grub screw just put that to one side and then we just move that latch across and push that top panel and you see it click there and the whole thing just lifts away. Now, I'll just quickly give you an overview of what's inside, what we're looking at here. So we've got the optical drive over here. We've got slots here for our Bluetooth and Wi-Fi cards. You see on this one they're missing. Over on this side, we've got the exhaust fan and then this area here with the heatsink over it, this is our system processor. In the middle here, we've got our system RAM. These are two 2 gig modules. And on the right here, we've got the hard disk. So I'll start off showing you how to upgrade the RAM. All you've got to do is really simple. Either side of the RAM chip are these two little metal tabs. And we're just going to pull back on those in tandem, and the RAM chip pops up. And then you literally just pull it away from the socket, and it comes away really easy. If it doesn't come away easy, stop. Don't pull on it because you may damage it. Just put that to one side, and you see underneath it's the exact same thing. So two little metal tabs, the whole chip raises up, and then you can just pull it out. Now obviously you take your new chips. These are two gig DDR3-10600 chips. So any DDR3-10600 chip, up to eight gig per chip, a total of 16 gigs will go into this machine. So we'll just put this original one back in, but consider that you'd be putting your new upgraded versions in. Just push it in until it won't go any further. Again, don't force it, and then gently push it down until those metal clips lock back in place. The same for the one above. In. Okay, so moving over to the hard disk, which is the next thing you're going to want to upgrade. Um, now, being business machines, they may have had the hard disk removed if you're buying this from a business. Uh, even if it doesn't, these shipped with standard uh, mechanical hard drives, and these days you really want to be putting an SSD in. They're, they're so cheap these days, there's no issue putting one in. So you see there's a little black tab here. We'll just put our finger under that, pull it back like a ring pull on a can, and that slides back. And then you see you've got this metal caddy, and the metal caddy's got one screw here, right over towards the edge of the chassis, and then two screws here and here. So we'll unscrew those. They're captive screws, so they won't come all the way out. So 
and then you grab this little uh, plastic tab on the metal shield, pull towards the edge of the case, and then lift out, and it will come out quite freely. So this caddy's uh, big enough to put any standard 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive in. This is already an SSD, uh, it's just in here to demo for you guys. Uh, on the side of the chassis, you've got two grub screws on either side. So all you have to do to swap out your hard disk is remove those screws, and then the shim comes away, you remove your drive, put your new drive in, shim back on, and then the four screws back in. And then reinstalling it is just dropping it back into the chassis, and then pushing towards the connector, which is just here, until it clicks into place, and then doing the screws back up. And then to finish up, we just move this plastic strip back over, push it down until it clicks into place, and then we take our top cover, slide it back on, and push towards the back of the machine where the battery is until it clicks into place, and then take our grub screw, drop it into place, screw that down, it's a bit fiddly. Move that tab across, click our battery back into place, and we're done. So there you have it guys, quick video on how to upgrade these machines, I hope you found that useful. A couple of points to be aware of if you are looking at purchasing one of these. Now, as I said, these are business oriented machines, and because of the way business life cycles work, a lot of these are now being swapped out, so you can pick them up dirt cheap. There's a couple of things you need to be aware of. First, when these are given away or sold by businesses, they'll take the hard drives out. Not a problem in itself, hard drives are relatively inexpensive. But you see that caddy that was in there, they may have thrown that caddy out. So if you do want to buy one of these, make sure that caddy is included, because otherwise you're going to have a real hard time fitting a hard disk in one. The other point is, consider that companies have recalled these from their staff, they've probably put them in storage for a little while while they've been getting them all together and before they sold them all off. And while they've been doing that, they've probably been stacking them up probably 10 to 15 units high. And because these are quite weighty, because they're quite old, bear in mind the ones at the bottom are going to have maybe 15 or 20 kilos of weight pressing down on them for some time. So you need to look out for screen issues because all that weight could have damaged the screen. So when you're looking for one, look out for screen issues, make sure that hard, hard disk caddy is there, and if both those things are fine, you've probably got a great machine at a bargain price. I hope this video was helpful, guys. If it was, please leave a comment, subscribe, and like this video. And if it wasn't, please dislike this video. I'll take all feedback seriously. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great day.